Hey guys, welcome to another video from Flores Resales. Uh, my name is Nico. I'm a full-time reseller. I buy and sell things uh, locally to me here, flea markets, thrift stores, stuff like that to sell online on eBay, Facebook, Mercari. If this is the first time joining uh, or seeing one of my videos, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. The big one is follow. <laughs> so do that, hit that sub button. Um, I went sourcing today. I had a couple videos already uh, recorded, uh, uploaded for this one. Uh, this was a cool deal uh, that I, I got a text from someone that I buy stuff from regularly and he said he had gotten a new shipment of stuff that he wanted me to go check it out first before he took it to the flea market. I wasn't able to make it though, uh, but I was able to be one of his first uh, customers the day that he brought the new stuff uh, and he had put some bins aside inside of his truck for me to check out and honestly I got a great deal so he must be getting this stuff super super cheap for him to give it to me at the price that I got it uh, for. Uh, from him, I ended up paying three twenty fifteen, then forty five. So, or sorry, thirty. That's forty five plus three twenty. So three hundred and sixty five dollars for all the stuff I'm about to show you. And I just finished processing it, uh, inventorying it, and cleaning it, and getting it ready to list. And uh, I'm pretty surprised, honestly. I'm really surprised with the stuff I got. Usually, when I do deals like that, I just pick it up. Uh, based on brands uh, or things that I've uh, dealt with before, maybe that I kind of have an idea what it's worth. Because uh, I know he gives me a good price and it's not really worth me scanning everything or uh, checking it has all the cables and stuff like that because uh, I have a bunch of extras and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and just uh, turn you guys over here and then show you what I picked up uh, real briefly and then I'll talk about the 10 best items that I think I picked out, out of there. Okay, so this is the stuff that I have processed already to go um, tomorrow. I have 35 items that I'm going to uh, work with. 30 are going to be listed actually for the day and then 5 are going to be drafted to be listed on the day that I take off. So right now I'm working 6 days and taking 1 day off for myself. And like I said, so 30, 30 get listed tomorrow and then 5 will be ready for drafts. This is also stuff that I picked up in that same deal that I'm talking about. And then this is stuff that I picked up today that I have not processed. This is going to be for the next day. So this is going to be for Tuesday. So in this one, uh, one of the videos that I just uploaded, it's a bunch of chargers. These books I got for free and a bunch of other things from the same guy there. And then this stack of computers that I have to go through. But I got a good price on them. And there's a really good one. I think this one actually. This one's going to be in my top 10 pile. I'll talk about briefly. So let me turn around and see and show you guys what I got. I said I've dealt with this guy before. And honestly, the kind of stuff that I normally pick up from him is like $20 stuff, maybe $25, $30 stuff. And I get it really cheap, you know, any, uh, usually under 5 bucks for most of this stuff. Um, but it is untested. Sometimes it's dirty. Sometimes it's missing parts. And I just get a bunch of stuff stacked up. And it just gives me a good price for everything. Uh, but luckily, I'm, I have a pretty good eye. I know kind of what to look for, stuff that's missing. And... Um, uh, I'm good with selling things for parts. The cool thing about electronics is that they sell for parts. So as long as it's a good brand, even a broken item, it actually sells pretty well. Okay, so I was expecting a lot of the items to be kind of like this. This is an HP financial calculator. Like I said, I've sold this before, similar items like this. Financial calculator, HP 17B-2-2+, uh, whatever. So this is about $15 maybe, $15, $20. Bucks. Um, that's, usually, that's kind of the stuff I was expecting to get. But sometimes that's the bread and butter items that you need to pick up. But that's one of them. Another cheap item from him that I got was this one here. It's uh, Amazon Cube, I want to say it's called. Um, I didn't know they made a cube version. I know they have the little round dots. But anyways, this is model EX69VW. I'm getting better about testing my items and, and making sure they're 100% uh, uh, accurately described. Before, I would just sell them as untested. But I want to get better about that because there's less returns from things like that. And I get more money. So that little cube, I'm going to have to order a charger for, I think it's about 9 bucks, And then it should sell for about 50 I think. So that's a good pickup. Then this other item here. It's a Ion Gear hard drive, 250 gigabytes. Uh, it should sell for about 40 to $50 based on the comps that I saw previously. It looks to be complete. So I'll go ahead and uh, test that in, power that on. I like picking up miscellaneous cables, if you guys notice on my on my channel. So this is another one. It looks like nothing, right? It looks like maybe like a bottle opener charger or something. But because I've dealt with this stuff before, this brand's actually really good. Maglite. Maglite and, and Streamlight, I believe the other one is. They're very good uh, high-end like uh, chargers. Uh, sorry, batteries. Dang, I can't say the word. What is it? Flashlights. <laughs> 
They're very good at uh, flashlights. So this little charger here is actually about 40 bucks. And I saw that there's only one listed and there was like five sold. So that's a good sell through. And honestly, that guy's listing sucks. <laughs> it's very bad pictures, no keywords, nothing like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, one up him. I'll probably list this for about 60 bucks actually. And you know, you can command the price when you're one of the few on the market. So I, I think I could at least get uh, 50 bucks for this, but it's gonna be listed for 60. I'm gonna go kind of fast because I think my battery's dying. So let's see. The first thing that I picked up there, which is an awesome pickup, is this Nintendo uh, Game Boy Player. So I saw right away GameCube. That's awesome. Anything GameCube is great. And this is Game Boy Player. I believe they had, there's a like CD that goes with this to install some software. I don't really know. I've never used it. But this is alone, like this is like $60. So this was a great pickup um, by itself. And it's a neat item, you know, Game Boy Player to, uh, I believe, connect your Game Boy and play it on the, on the GameCube. This is one of the laptops that I had just showed you guys. It's Dell um, XPS Windows 7 Intel. I believe it uh, has i5 core. This one I'm gonna order a charger for. And the reason for that is because it's really sturdy. It's like very like high-end uh, feel to it. And I don't know what it could be worth. And honestly, I might have to reset it. I might have to reset all these, but I'm comfortable with that. I, I do that all the time. So I just leave it running in the background. I have a power strip and everything. So there's gonna be no problem with that. I feel like on the low end, I should be able to get maybe $200 for it. Sometimes stuff like this, I've sold before in the six to $800 range. I don't know if it's gonna be that because it doesn't give me the exact model number on the back. I'm gonna have to boot it up to get that information. And something new that I'm trying is I'm picking up larger items. And this is a brand that I'm not familiar with. It's uh, Sansui, Sansui, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I believe it's a Japanese brand. And this is a model RA990. And the cool thing about reselling is you don't gotta know what the heck this stuff is, how, how well, you do have to know how to how it works because you gotta test it. But I picked uh, $30 for this one. I know he, this one was a little bit on a separate deal. So this is model RA990, but I should get be able to get about 100 bucks, 120 for it, which still makes it a pretty good pickup. This other one here, I, um, I looked up briefly. I don't think there was exact one was listed. It's a uh, model SE8X, same brand that I just mentioned here. And I did check if it's the right one inside there. Unfortunately, I, I was hoping it was new old stock and it's not. But this is Sansui uh, SE-8X. And I believe I should be able to get like 200 bucks for it. So I'll go ahead and look it up a little bit more. Like I said, there's none actually listed or sold. So I'll try to get a little bit more information, but uh, I'm excited to uh, find out more information about this one. Okay, dang, I just got some cool stuff. Like that deal was, it was amazing. There's this task cam little recorder. It's a little dusty. Um, I, I'll probably end up getting the charger for this to uh, test it out as well, maybe another $15. Uh, but I did only pay $10 for this one. Uh, he, some stuff he broke up, he gave me like a piece by piece kind of price. And so, some stuff it was just like bundled, like take it off for this. So this one it was $10. Task cam uh, mini studio Porta 03 MK2. And I believe this one sells for like 120, 150 bucks. So that's a great pickup. Even me, with me buying the charger, let's say I'm into it for like 30 bucks, I'll still be able to make about $50 on it at least. And it's, it's pretty light, not too bad. It should be maybe regional A. No, it's a little thick. So, you know, priority mail or UPS, maybe send out for $12, $15. And the uh, last two items that I picked up, you guys can see already this Apple here and all these Dymos. So this Apple is a Mac Mini. Right there, this is a uh, model number 81347. I believe as it is like this way, it sells for about $100. And I thought it was actually like a regular Apple TV type of thing. Um, like it was big, so I'm like, oh, it's probably an old Apple TV, which I should know better. The, the Apple TVs are a lot smaller. Um, but anyways, I picked this up. Uh, he, This is one of those like take it all for this price kind of deals. So I'm, I'm into about $7 because uh, his range was about $5 a piece or so uh, for the, the two piles I made. Anyway, so this is sell for about $100. I uh, thinking about keeping it though. I do need a second desktop uh, running for, uh, well, another setup that I got going on. So I might keep this. I have a, a genuine uh, Apple keyboards and mice and everything like that that I can set it up with. And lastly, I picked up uh, four of these Dymo Label Writers 450. Uh, only two of them have power adapters and the other two do not. Uh, and this was also part of that, like buy it all for this price. So I paid about five to $7 each of these. I believe the ones that are complete, I should be able to get $45 to $50 for. And the two that don't have the power adapter, I could get maybe $30. But I'm getting a lot of these two up. 
So I'm gonna sell these no power adapters uh, working because I'll be able to test them, hopefully working. <clears throat> And I'll lock those up uh, probably for the same price, about $40 to $50 for the two. And uh, that way that person gets a little bit of a deal and uh, I can send them together maybe in the medium flat rate B, or sorry, medium medium flat rate for 13 bucks or so. But these are some of the better items that I picked up. I wouldn't be surprised though <clears throat> if a lot of these random cables, miscellaneous cables here end up being worth something. This is, <laughs> it looks like whatever little piece of cable. It's probably actually like $25. Uh, based on the last time I needed it uh, and there's a lot of cool stuff so I'm excited to go through it but uh, for now I think that's it for this video I had to turn off my fan just to record that video because it makes a little clicking sound right here in my living room and Jesus I am sweating I live in California if you guys uh, don't know that and um, it was like a hundred plus degrees for the last few days and tomorrow is gonna be like a hundred plus again and man in an instant I take a shower and like five minutes later whew, ready for another one so I got to turn on the fan right now and uh, catch some of this breeze right here at my door. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, seeing the kind of stuff I pick up. And if uh, there's any takeaway from this video, it has to be be nice to the people you work with, man. Um, not forced. You don't got to be fake. Just be genuine. Just be polite and kind. And uh, it goes a long way. Um, I made this con connect with this guy and I get the first dibs on pretty much everything. He sends me photos all the time of stuff that if I want to pick it up. And that goes a long way, especially when it's really hard to source items and you got to go to different uh, flea markets or thrift stores. I can avoid that going to where he sells at because I know he's going to have that merchandise saved for me. And I can go try somewhere else and find other stuff. And I still have merchandise that, that's a shirt for me. So, I mean, it's a great connect for me. I, uh, but one more time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's the important one. And I'll see you on the next one.